The Duke of Sussex is suing the Home Office because it refused to spend taxpayers' money on bodyguards. Harry, 37, who quit royal duty and privileges that come with the job to live in California with Meghan Markle two years ago, says he feels unsafe in the UK. He wants to fund his own Met Police armed bodyguards but the Home Office refused and insiders are saying police are not guns for hire. Harry is also arguing that his private protection team in the U.S. does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to U.K. intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe. The Duke's case is being heard by Mr. Justice Swift in London's High Court this morning, but Harry is not attending in person. Court papers filed by the Home Office claim Harry believes the ruling made in February 2020 by the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Rivek, is wrong in law. The documents state, he says Rivek was wrong in law not to have considered him to remain in its cohort because he falls within the immediate line of succession. It says Harry believes he should be provided with security by the police on all occasions when in the UK because of his particular personal circumstances. The papers also claim that Harry's offer of funding was notably not advanced to Rivek at the time of his visit in June 2021, or in any pre-action discussions. Mr Justice Swift said he would not deliver a ruling on the application today. It is believed to be the first time a member of the royal family has sued Her Majesty's government. But it comes just six weeks before Harry wants to come back to Britain for a service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip at Westminster Abbey with the Queen. He also wants to come back for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. The Sussexes were stripped of their round-the-clock protection when they stepped back from royal duties two years ago. In a bumper set of polls run from 4 p.m. on Sunday, February 13 to 9 a.m. on Thursday, February 17, Express asked its readers, would you support Meghan and Harry if they rejoined as working royals under King Charles? A staggering 52,358 votes were cast, with the results an overwhelming no. 48,897, or 93%. Just 2,631, or 5%, said yes, and another 830, or 2%, said they didn't know. The comments left below the poll were scathing. Username Tolstoy wrote, Why on earth would you let such poison back into the family? Keep them in the States. And username Dex13 wrote, Harry, is a person that had the world on a plate for years then all of a sudden he doesn't want anything to do with any of them. So my answer is no. Others thought Meghan and Harry should avoid putting themselves in competition with Prince William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Username Bumblebee said, there will always be this one-upmanship on Harry and Meghan's part. Express also asked, will you read Prince Harry's memoir when it's released? Harry's book, due to be published in late 2022, will shake the monarchy to its core, according to sources close to the Duke. Readers were equally fierce on this topic, with 52,085 votes cast. A total of 47,579, 91%, said no, with just 2,363, 5%, voting yes and 2,143, 4%, saying they didn't know if they'd read it. Generally, readers said they didn't expect much from the book particularly after Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah last year in which they leveled some harsh criticisms at the royal family, which are still being internally investigated. Username The Duke of Chutney wrote, This book is going to be more of what we saw with Oprah. And Yeppers for Peppers wrote, Shake the monarchy to the core, eh? Doesn't sound like he would want to visit, be included or have any contact whatsoever with his family then. It wasn't all negative, though. Express.co.uk also asked its readers to pick their favorite royal, and the winner will come as no surprise. A total of 51,954 people voted in total, with a whopping 24,146 percent, people choosing the Queen as their favorite. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge was in second with 12,593 votes, 24 percent, followed by her husband William with 6,396 votes, 12 percent. Princess Anne was in fourth with 3,564 votes, followed by Prince Charles with 1,034, Sophie Countess of Wessex with 955, and then Prince Harry with 946. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall was less popular than Harry with 729 votes. Meghan Markle raked in just 229 votes, above only Prince Edward, bringing up the rear with 166 votes.